Um, I think the first place I really want to start with you, and, and, and this is because, you know, we, we have women that follow, you know, follow the show, not too much on YouTube, but on the audio side of things, you know, I'd say about, about 30, you know, 30% women. Can, can you speak to, you know, because it seems like obviously pornography is a, is a male problem, you know, um, and, and, and wired for intimacy. I don't know if you've read William, uh, William Shuther's book, but he talks about some of the differences, how men are visually uh, stimulated versus women more, more verbally. So can you speak kind of to the difference between the male and the female brain and why does it appear that this is such a male problem, if that even is the case there? Well, actually, so what the science shows is that when there, there's a few different aspects, yes, men and women's brains are different in terms of size. Men's brains are larger, believe it or not. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and in functioning and functionality, but and I can come back to that if we want to talk about it. But what I think is more important is that the science behind pornography consumption, especially and specifically, shows that the impact on the brain is the same for men and women. Mm. So the way that it affects the brain is similar across both genders, which I do think, you know, is probably an interesting finding for most people. But there's another caveat when it comes to addiction and uh, you know, addiction's a loaded word. And actually another person put on a, one of the comments saying she doesn't use the word addiction, so it must not be real. Nobody wants an addiction, no, nobody wants to admit they have an addiction. So I prefer to talk about it as a compulsive habit or you know, like a habit that you want to get rid of. And the defining factor is you keep going back for more and more and more, even though it has negative consequences in your life and you makes you feel bad and you don't want to do it anymore. That is the defining factor, no matter what we call it. Mm. But the, uh, the science on addiction between men and women shows interesting findings in that in behavioral and in substance abuse addictions, behavioral being pornography, being a behavioral addiction, um, shows that women are impacted more quickly when they are, when they are exposed. So in the exposure phase, their brains are actually impacted more quickly, but it takes greater levels of exposure for their brain to stabilize into an addiction. So, so speaking to why would women's brains possibly be impacted more is because on first exposure, their brains could be hooked greater than the male brain. And then they would have to watch more and more and more to get to that stabilization phase where men's might stabilize a little bit lower. The, the science behind addictions also shows that there's more withdrawals and withdrawals are more stressful for women in substance abuse and behavioral addictions and that they are more likely for relapse. So what that shows is that the combination of those two scientific studies, if we can kind of glean what that might mean for a woman who's been exposed to pornography, who has, and just going back for one more second too, just men and women, we know it's nature and nurture. So there's also genetic or familial predisposition in brains that are more likely to have an addiction or a compulsive behavior. So if, the, if a woman has the brain that is, that is at risk and then she watches pornography, then her brain might be hooked on it more quickly. She has to watch more to be able to get the release that she wants for it to stabilize. And then it's harder for her to walk away. So even though the percentages are smaller, and I don't remember the day on this, but Pornhub replate, reported that 23% of their users were female. And so that's a, you know, it's a quarter, we'll say, but it's still a pretty small percentage when we're talking about billions of views and we're talking about 75% of the billions of views are men. But it's likely that those women, their brains feel like they need to go back for more because it's really been latched onto that behavior for the dopamine release that they're looking for.